a ship. A cargo conveyor on the other side leads right to the docking bay. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, guys, we're back, and we're straight into a fight. This is the uh, the docking bay levels. So we're hunting down Miko. We got to get him before he gets to the ship. And meanwhile, we got to do it while on conveyor belts. So easiest way to do this, I think, is across the rooftops. But I mean, I'm not an expert on that. Don't take my word for it. I very well could fall off and die at any moment. Try not to run out of jetpack fuel, and we're going down this one. Basically, just follow the checkpoints if you get lost. Actually, we're going to hop ahead of this box, if we can. Yeah. So we want to be near one of these explosive barrels. Not too close, but close enough. There we go. And we're through. You run, like, double speed when you're on this conveyor belt. It's kind of weird. Makes the controls feel a little loose. There's a couple bounties in here. I'm not going to deal with them. I'm just going to kill everybody and move on. Probably only going to focus on getting specifically one bounty. That is in a, uh, I mean, no spoilers, but it's in a prison level later on, and you'll see why we're going after him specifically. This place is kind of a maze. It's, uh, oh, here are, uh, these are some more darts for his poison. You can carry up to 10, so you might as well use them. They clear out areas real quick. And I think we're going through this door, so let's just wait here. Maybe. Nope, doesn't look like there's any barrels. Alright, we'll just follow this one around. There we go. So, basically when those barrels go through that little magnetic lock, you can't shoot them, and they, uh, well you can shoot them, but they won't explode. So we gotta find one that is broken, and also, you do not want to walk through those things, because they will kill you instantly. There we go, there's a broken one. Not gonna worry about them. They're not even shooting at me. I guess they are. Too low brow for Django's dealings. Grab this guy, because we're probably gonna need it, because this room is hell. There 
or it can be hell sometimes. We actually got through it pretty decently without getting scratched. made it to the first boss fight, or the first official boss fight. This seems a little weird to me, because this is an actual, you know, starship, and look how fast my blasters are just deleting all these modules on his ship. Like, you don't even have to worry about the guys that are around you, just keep dodging and shooting the ship and you're good. And unfortunately, that's kind of how it is with all the bosses in this game. I mean, there's some tough moments, but nothing you can't get through without your basic weapons. I think one more piece and we're good. Two more. Still takes no time at all. There we go. That's the boss. That's the en entire encounter. Not the most difficult first boss in the world, but it's a pretty interesting one. I hate to admit it, but you're worth more alive. Ugh, I'll get you for this fat payback, you hear me? Oh, thank you, Django. You're the best. I'll call it in for you. Miko will get another life sentence on Ugo 4, thanks to you! Another life sentence? So he already had one. And uh, that was a quick video, so I'm going to continue on and just go through the next level. You guys are going to have to sit through a loading screen, but who cares? This is the introduction to one of the more interesting characters of the games. His name's Montross. Montross! I can pay you double! Triple, please! Please don't kill me! I'm worth more alive! You're worth enough dead. Montross is basically just a, a cold motherfucker. He takes you in dead or dead, even if you're worth more alive. He doesn't care. Subject I believe the backstory Subject is that he is a Mandalorian along with Django at one point, well which done, I'm not even Miko's sure what the actual canon storyline of Star Wars Montrose is at this point. It's changed so hey, much in the last few years, so I'm not even sure if this I'm is considered what this is considered, if it's, you know, canon, if it's uh, extended but universe or expanded universe. I asked you to come back. A transmission came for you. It's personal. I didn't even peek. Greetings, Django Fett. I am Tyrannus. I have a proposition for you. You are one of a select few chosen to participate in a special hunt for a special prey. If you succeed, the reward will be in the amount of five million Republic credits. <laughs> five million? Five million? Sign me up. Well, Shit, I'll hunt down a Jedi for five million. Five. The poor uh, it's a win-win kind of situation. Either they head, kill huh? me or I kill them, and either way, I don't have to worry about going to work the next day. No, no, Django, not the Bandogora. It's too dangerous even for you. Like you said, this hunt can make me. Or break you. No bounty hunter who set out after the Bandogora has ever returned. Worried about losing your finder's fees? Now that's not fair. You know I worry about you. What else do you know about this Bandogora? Only rumors. It's a very secretive organization. 
everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I heard they're behind the new Death Stick craze. Death Sticks are big in Coruscant's underworld. Oh, that reminds me. There's a bounty for a Death Stick dealer on Coruscant. He's I wonder what Death Sticks are in universe because any drug named a Death Stick, I'm gonna stay away from. I've got a bad feeling about this one, Django. <laughs> what else is new? See you around, Ross. I may need your help. Keep in touch. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you ran into Montrose on this hunt. I'd be surprised if I didn't. Incoming transmission. Decoding now. Greetings, Montross. I am Tyrannus. I have a proposition for you. Looks like we got ourselves some competition, boys. The uh, Mandalorian they're talking about there, Josta, he, uh, if you unlock all the secrets, that's the comic book you get, is the story of Jango Fett and Montross and Josta and all of them in some sort of battle. I haven't unlocked the entire comic, so I couldn't tell you how it ends, but it's pretty interesting. I believe it's a Dark Horse comic of some kind. And we have made it to Coruscant. This is where the game really starts to open up and you can look around and find more hidden secrets and hidden bounties and you know, people wanted for random things. Let's see if we can pick up a few that are just here in the starting area just to show you some of the bounties that are available. A few of them have prices on their heads, dead or alive. But this is our ship, and, uh, you know, it's seen better days. It's a little beat, beat down and battered, but hey, it's better than nothing. Can I get up there? I can. Is there anything back here? No. Okay. All right, well, Coruscant is uh, probably the most scenic of all the planets we'll go to. Definitely has it, its classic Star Wars vibes. And I believe that there is a lady down here that is worth some money alive. Yep. 3,500 credits for eight being affiliated with the agents of the so called Freedom Convoy. She escaped domestic service on Nal Hutta from Kappa the Hut. So, she's a runaway slave. And... Now you're worth... No? Oh, I have to mark her first. That makes sense. There we go. Now you're worth 3,500 credits. But yeah, there are a lot of these guys just kind of roaming around. If you scan the crowds, you'll come across a bunch of them. I'm not going to scan everybody. I kind of know where a few of the general wanted people are, but it's a fun little area to explore and kind of see the nightlife of Coruscant. I think this guy's... yep. How to work a musician who defaulted on a generous loan. Well, we can't have that. Loan shark's coming after you. Loan shark Django. Nice. 
It's not openable. Where am I going? This way. It's kind of hard to tell which doors will open and which ones won't sometimes. Kind of just have to search them all. But there's definitely some more bounties up on this kind of walkway up here. Yep. Right there. Wanted in connection with the theft of a precious jewel belonging to Celestian... Okay. Belonging to Celestian dignitaries visiting Dantooine. I don't know why they were at Dantooine. I'm pretty sure that's a dead planet with nothing there, but... Whatever. Nab him real quick. Get rid of that guy. Yeah, these darts are a bit OP. They just drop everybody. Suspected of trafficking illicit contraband in the core systems. Alright. You're worth some cash. Nab you. Ta-da. I'm actually grabbing more bounties than I thought I would stop to get. I remember... I remembered more locations of them than I thought. Pretty sure one of these guys is wanted too. No? Ah, well. Beat down. Uh, tilly time, motherfuckers. Get in the pit. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to show you guys this, but with the flamethrower, or with the uh, jetpack, you also get Django's flamethrower. Which isn't as useful as you would think. It comes in pretty handy later in some of the very last levels of the game when you're just surrounded by guys. But early on, it's, it's not the best weapon to use unless you can kind of get stuck in a group and they're all just coming in to beat your ass. But, you know, it's fun. It's nice to see it in action. Alright, you are wanted for... get out of the way. Oh my god, move. Has ties to galactic organized crime, armed and dangerous. Well, I'm armed and dangerous, so bring it. Didn't put up much of a fight, did you? Alright. So, we're at the bar. I'm pretty sure this is the cantina coming up here. Let's clear out this area. I'm pretty sure one of those got... Yep, yeah, right there. Known death stick dealer. Reese Andor, he's coming with me. You wanted... Nah, you're good. Stop it. Cantina? No. Canteen is coming up. It's somewhere around here. And there's the guy we're looking for. Jervis Gloom. 5,000 credits. Death Stick Smuggler. Wanted on questioning and the Coruscant Smuggling Ring from the Coruscant Police. So we're gonna mark him. That's him, Django. Remember, if you fry this loser, you won't... Oh, alright. Cutscene. A long loading screen. Oh, alright. Just drops us in. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to finish this uh, episode. 
or finish this level on another episode. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you soon.